Welcome back ladies and gents. In this video I'll be looking at 9.7 parametric differentiation. 9.7 represents chapter 9 section 7 of the Pearson A level maths pure maths year 2 textbook. Let's start off with the parametric equations x equal h of t y equal g of t. So I've got x equal h of t y equal g of t. In the exam you could be asked to work out dy over dx. Now dy over dx is given by the chain rule. So dy over dx is equal to dy over dt multiplied by dt over dx. Here is an exam style question. The curve C has parametric equations x equal 4 sine t, y equal 2 cosec 2t, where t is more than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to pi. Part A, find the value of t at the point A with coordinates 2 square root 3, 4 square root 3 over 3. Right, first of all we know that at A, x is equal to square root 3. Now, x is 4 sine t, so x equal to square root 3 implies that 4 sine t is equal to square root 3. Making sine t the subject gives us sine t equal square root 3 over 2. Putting our calculator on radian mode because the interval of t includes a pi and taking sine inverse on both sides gives us t equal pi over 3. Moving on to part B, the line L is a normal to C at A. Show that an equation for L is 9x plus 12y minus 34 square root 3 equal to 0. Right, to find the equation of the normal to a curve C at any given point on the curve C, you need to know two things. Number one, you need to know the coordinates that the normal passes through. Number two, you need to know the gradient of the normal. Over here, we are told that the normal L passes through the coordinate A, which is 2 square root 3, 4 square root 3 over 3. So my first step is to write down the coordinates for A. 2 square root 3, 4 square root 3 over 3. I'm going to label my coordinates x1, y1. My second step is to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point A. So to find the gradient of the tangent, I need to first find dy over dx. If I have parametric equations, then by the chain rule, dy over dx is dy over dt multiplied by dt over dx. I'm going to start off by writing my parametric equations. So my parametric equations are x equal 4 sine t, y equal 2 cosec 2t. dx over dt is equal 4 cos t. If you have forgotten how to differentiate sine, I would advise you to check out my video 9.1. dy over dt is equal minus 4 cosec 2t cot 2t. If you have forgotten how to differentiate cosec, I would advise you to check out my video 9.6. Okay, now dy over dx is equal to dy over dt multiplied by dt over dx. Be careful ladies and gents, dt over dx is just the reciprocal of dx over dt. So dx over dt is 4 cos t, the reciprocal is 1 over 4 cos t. Substituting my dy over dt and my dt over dx into dy over dx gives me dy over dx is equal minus 4 cosec 2t cot 2t divided by 4 cos t. Over here, I can actually cancel out the 4s leaving me with minus cosec 2t cot 2t over cos t. Okay, step number four. I can now find the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point A. I know that at the point A, t is equal pi over 3. So if I substitute t equal pi over 3 into dy over dx, that will give me the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point A. dy over dx when t is equal pi over 3, is equal to 4 over 3. Now, step number 5. The gradient of the normal, I'm going to call it m, is just a negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So the negative reciprocal of 4 over 3 is minus 3 over 4. The final step was to put my x1, y1 and my m into y minus y1 equal m in bracket x minus x1, rearrange and end up with this result which is 9x plus 12y minus 34 square root 3 equal to 0 as required. Here's another exam star question. The curve C is given by the equations x equal 2t, y equal t squared where t is a parameter. 
Find the equation of the normal to the curve C at the point P where T is equal to 3. Now to find the equation of the normal to the curve C at the point P where T is equal to 3, I need the coordinates of P and I need the gradient of the normal to the curve C at the point P. So step number one, I can work out the coordinates at P. So at P, we know that T is equal to 3, which implies that X is equal to 2 times 3, which is 6. Y is equal to 3 squared, which is 9. So the coordinates of P is 6 and 9. Step number 2, I need to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point P where T is equal to 3. Now to find the gradient of the tangent, I need to first work out dy over dx. So if I have parametric equations, dy over dx by the chain rule is dy over dt multiplied by dt over dx. I'm going to start off by writing my parametric equations. So I've got x equal 2t, y equal t squared. dx over dt is 2 and dy over dt is 2t. dy over dx by the chain rule is dy over dt multiplied by dt over dx. Now dt over dx is the reciprocal of dx over dt. The reciprocal of dx over dt, which is 2, is going to be 1 over 2. Okay, so now substitute my dy over dt and my dt over dx into dy over dx gives me 2t multiplied by 1 over 2, which is just t. Now I can work out the gradient of the tangent to the curve C at the point P where t is equal to 3. What I need to do is substitute t equal 3 into my dy over dx. I know my dy over dx, it is t, so if I substitute t equal 3, I just get 3. Step number 4, I can now find the gradient of the normal to the curve C at the point P where t is equal to 3. It is just the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the tangent. So the negative reciprocal of 3 is just minus 1 over 3, so the gradient of the normal, I'm going to call it m, is minus 1 over 3. So the final step was to substitute x1, y1 and m into y minus y1 equal m bracket x minus x1, rearrange and get y equal minus 1 over 3x plus 11. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe.